I'm going to show you how to make the best jalapeno stuffed barbecue meatloaf you've ever had. We're going to do it on the Traeger and we're starting right now. Welcome to Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. If you're new here, my name is Todd and this is the channel where backyard cooking is king. We take you on barbecue crawls to some awesome places and we show you recipes that are not only fun to make, but really delicious. So today we're showing you our spin on a wildly popular meatloaf recipe known as blacksmith meatloaf. Since it's all about sharing here, we want to hear what your meatloaf recipe is down in the comments below. Okay, so one of the things we uh, have here is this 80-20 ground beef. There's four pounds here. Uh, make sure you're using 80-20 because it's going to give you the best flavor profile. Okay, no particular order. We're going to go ahead and add the ingredients. Got our onion. Tablespoon of crushed red pepper. Tablespoon of seasoned salt. In this case tonight, we're using Old Bay. Tablespoon of ground black pepper. Tablespoon of garlic powder. A little more than a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. The more you put, obviously, the more you put here, the hotter it's gonna get. You decide. Uh, we're gonna get four eggs of your choice. A cup of a spaghetti sauce of your choice. Some shredded cheese. Again, shredded cheese of your choice. Use your favorite. And instead of breadcrumbs, we're going to use quick oats. Again, trust me on this one. Um, you're going to start off with a couple cups. And once you get your hands in there and start mixing this up, you want to start forming it into a loaf. If it doesn't want to form itself very well, add a little bit more. But don't go too much. If you do, it's okay. But this is a much healthier option than just breadcrumbs, and you're gonna really notice a difference. Okay, so now I'm gonna get in there with my hands and mix all that up. Uh, don't use a food processor. You, you know, trust me on this. Get your hands in there. You really want to be able to feel where the, that meat is setting up and starts forming into that loaf. If you must use a food processor, go for it. But you really don't need to. So now that we got this uh, meat mixed up, we're going to let it set up a little while, let all those uh, flavors kind of commingle and get friendly with each other. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take this brick of cream cheese, and I put some of Sassy's delicious homemade salsa in there, and I'm just going to kind of mix it up there. I've let this cream cheese set out for a while and come up to, uh, you know, warmer than what it was, and it kind of helps out. Um, I'm also going to put in I'm also going to put in some more of that grated cheese. The grated cheese we're using, no particular brand, but we're using Colby and Monterey Jack. Uh, real cheese. Um, so the package says. And that'll help uh, kind of bind this cream cheese up. Okay, now I'm going to take some of these bacon, real bacon bits, and mix that in there as well. Try not to lose any. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside and draw my attention to this uh, delicious jalapeno here. Okay, so get yourself one of these little cores. These things work really good. So I don't want to completely split these, so I'm gonna take and cut off the cap there. And then I'm gonna take this core and I'm just gonna pull out much as I can from the inside. You want to get them seeds out of there. You know, you don't want to be eating all that stuff. So get the seeds out. Okay. There we go. Kind of like that. And then just give it a stuff. And this is where it's going to get a little messy, but just get your finger in there. Stuff away. There we go. All right, and that's exactly how I'm going to put it in the meatloaf. Uh, we're going to go ahead and stuff the rest of these, and then we'll go ahead and uh, set up the meatloaf. Okay, so that was fun. 
So it looks like we got all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven jalapenos stuffed with that delicious creamy filling there. And I got some parchment paper here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out this meat. As you can see there, it's holding its shape fairly well. Uh, the pan I'm going to be using is a meatloaf pan. It's nonstick. And uh, it's uh, good for about four pounds. But as you can see, this is probably going to kind of make it uh, a little fatter. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, never done this before without rolling it flat first, but uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is kind of create a little bit of a canyon here. I'm going to do a couple rows of jalapenos. I may not be able to get all the jalapenos in here. And yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to, but we'll see. Get a couple more in there. Let's see, let me point that one this way. And as long as I seal it up completely with meat, that cream cheese will be trapped in the middle with these jalapenos and it's not going to go nowhere. So I think I'm, I think I'm going to take a chance and put them all in there. So now, well, that one may not make it. So now the fun part begins. All right. Now, again, I'm going to be putting this on the Traeger. I'm going to go with a high, as hot as I can get the Traeger. I'm going to be using the Gourmet Blend pellet. Nothing really too special about it. It's going to be making a nice crust on the outside with that high heat. And it'll lock all these uh, cream cheese into the middle. Okay, looking at the bottom, looks like everything survived. Looks like we got a nice loaf, and looks like that cream cheese and jalapeno filling is staying put. Mm. Okay, pan over here. There's only thing one left to do. One thing left to do is just like the bread guys do, make a little little top of uh, make a little canyon right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take more of that spaghetti sauce and I'm going to fill up this channel here and I'm going to paint the whole outside of this meatloaf. But before that, I'm going to go ahead and get the trigger started. And I'll meet you outside. Okay, so I topped the Yoder off with some Pit Boss competition blend pellets. Uh, they've been in the house since the bottom, so they're nice and dry. Uh, I had a few in the bottom of the hopper here that had been outside for a long time in the smoker, so they might have a high moisture content. So as you can see, the temperature is starting to get up there. I, I really want to see about 410 to 420 before I put that... Uh, that meatloaf on here. So in the meantime, I'm going to take advantage of this and pair up the meatloaf with a tasty Founders KBS. Cheers, barbecue fans. And all we got to do is put some of this spaghetti sauce of your choice right in that channel and put a little bit extra because Sassy likes it that way. And then what you want to do is just Paint it. Now, Jesse James's recipe calls for cheapo spaghetti sauce on this step. And what it does is when you put it in a either a 450 degree oven or a Traeger smoker all the way high, what it's going to do is create a wonderful little crust on the top. And it's going to help seal in some of them, some of them juices and that moisture. All right, so that smoker is uh, just about there. I uh, got my meter probes in there so that I make sure that uh, that center temperature reaches right about uh, right about 160. 
is what I'm looking for. I definitely want this to be well done. That way it slices like a loaf. Okay, it looks like the Yoder is up above 410. So we're going to go ahead and put this baby on. I forgot something. So it's hitting about 410 degrees, uh, which isn't bad for one of these old Traeger little Tex Pros. Uh, they weren't known for going much more beyond 400 degrees. So uh, if I'm lucky in about an hour, it will reach up to about 420. So we'd love to hear about your recipe for meatloaf. So comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you got a meatloaf recipe you wouldn't mind sharing and we feature you in a video, we're going to send you a hat, shirt, and sticker. This Traeger is huffing along pretty good. Um, yeah, you can see it's uh, 437 degrees. Yeah, that, that's really good. So um, I'm liking that. It's been cooking for about an hour and 20 minutes now. Take a little quick peek. Not bad. Okay, here we go. That's almost uh, almost an hour and 45 minutes of cooking. Well above 400 degrees in the trigger. And it's got a beautiful crust. We're gonna go ahead and let this thing rest for a little bit. I'm gonna pull out these meter probes. They've served their purpose. Ooh. That's an interesting science experiment there. A little bit of juice coming out, but uh, that's all right. Get back to you in about 15. Okay, there we go. It's been about 20 minutes actually, since we took it off. That looks good. You like that baby? Yeah, nice and crispy. And... Is that a jalapeno? Yeah, so... Again, um, if you're just joining us, we did a blacksmith meatloaf recipe, which you could find in a previous video. Um, but this one we did a little bit better, differently. We stuffed it with stuffed jalapenos. We used a cream cheese with some hot sauce and shredded cheese stuffing, stuffed some jalapenos inside that meatloaf. And what you're seeing right here is one little jalapeno that we stuffed on top. So one of the great things about these uh, meatloaf pans is this little insert where you can just lift it right out. Voila. Okay, so I brought the lights in a little bit closer. I want you all to get a nice shot of this. So again, if you're just joining us, Stuff inside this meatloaf are about, uh, I don't know, five or six stuffed jalapenos that we used a cream cheese filling on. So, I think I'm going to go right here. Wish me luck. All right, there we go. So it looks like uh, when I wrap the uh, meatloaf up, it uh, push some the couple of the jalapenos down here low. That's all right. A little bit of a smoke ring, not much, but it's cooked all the way through. You can see there's plenty of onions, and this thing is just going to be delicious. Cut. There we go. That's really nice. Okay, so this is some delicious stuffed jalapeno stuffed meatloaf, barbecued meatloaf. Mm. All right, seriously, folks, if you if you like meatloaf, if you're a meat eater, if you like spicy food, if you like jalapenos. 
Try this recipe. You won't be disappointed. You may not have Sassy's wonderful homemade salsa, but you got an oven. You got access to a grocery store. You can go buy the meat. And you can find jalapenos. So try this recipe out. For those of you that might have missed it, I'll place it here again. It's delicious. Um, it's full of flavor. The jalapenos cooking inside. It's like the flavor exploded within the meat. And oh, it's just tasty. Mm. Sorry to eat in front of you, but this is known as it's known as pitmaster privilege. I was going to talk about this beer. I didn't do a lot of talking about it. I did more drinking about it. Maybe one of the next videos we'll do a, build, a beer pairing. And we'll discuss uh, some good beers with different kinds of meats. But uh, for this one, this meatloaf's calling me and Sassy's name. Mm. So if you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe. Don't miss out on anything. Hit that bell and share with your friends on social media. And be sure to comment down below because we'd love to hear from you, especially your meatloaf recipe. We want to know how you guys cook meatloaf, so let us know. And until then, 